So in this video we're going to be highlighting the flexor muscles of the posterior leg. These muscles are responsible for um, for decreasing the angle between the fem femur and the tibia. Uh, these flexor muscles are commonly referred to as the hamstrings or the hamstring group. The hamstring is actually a collection of three muscles that again flex flex at the thigh pulling in the lower leg. So the first one that we're going to highlight is the biceps femoris. <clears throat> so its point of origin, um, you can look towards the, uh, the pelvis, is the ischial tuberosity and a part of the posterior surface of the femur as well. And it goes all the way down uh, laterally into the uh, head of the fibula and lateral condyle. Okay. So the next muscle, the second muscle to the uh, hamstring group, <clears throat> is the semitendinosus. Semitendinosus uh, point of origin is similar to that of the bicep femoris uh, at the ischial tuberosity and posterior surface of the femur as well. But it, uh, its insertion is opposite to that of the biceps in that uh, it goes down medially just below the condyle, the medial epicondyle of the tibia. Okay, and lastly is the semitendinosus. Semitendinosus origin is the ischial tuberosity, and its insertion uh, is the medial condyle of the tibia. Okay, so if we rotate this, as I rotate this model uh, medially, <clears throat> we get an anterior view of the uh, of the quad of the thigh, and we highlight the longest muscle in the human body, which is the uh, sartorius muscle. Sartorius muscle's origin uh, is the anterior superior iliac spine of the pelvis and as you can see it wraps around the leg posteriorly and then coming back around anteriorly inserting itself to the medial surface of the tibia.